Hi, my name's Tom Elliott and welcome to another Financial Markets Update for Hodges Real Estate. Well, it's actually good news this month, even though there's been plenty of bad news on the international front. The good news is for local investors, be it property, shares, bonds or whatever, that all the international stuff that's been going on, whether it's planes being shot down or wars in the Middle East, doesn't appear to be affecting local investor confidence. Now, when we break it down, we've actually had some inflation numbers out for the June quarter. These were relatively benign. The uh, annual inflation rate is now about 2.9 to 3%. This is edging up towards the Reserve Bank's upper level, but it's no cause for alarm yet. And in fact, when you look at the fact that the uh, biggest banks in Australia, led by the Commonwealth Bank, recently cut their five-year fixed term rate to a record low of all time of just 4.99%, well, property market investors could be forgiven for thinking that the good times are here to stay. And I've got to say that 4.99% looks extraordinarily attractive at the moment. Over the ditch in New Zealand, however, things are a little bit different. Over the past few months, I've been recording and reporting as the way that the New Zealand Central Bank keeps pushing up their interest rates. Just this very month, the New Zealand official cash rate was lifted from 3.25 to 3.5%. As I've said before, Australian rates have an unfortunate habit of following their New Zealand cousins up, so that's just something to be aware of. Locally, the share market continues to push higher, and indeed the Commonwealth Bank, which led the charge on uh, cutting five-year fixed-term rates for home buyers, uh, is also at, almost at an all-time high. Telstra shares are pushing a nine-year high at the moment. Everybody is looking for yield in the local share market, and that is driving shares with good dividend yields higher. On the property front, the news is pretty consistent. Clearance rates continue to be around 70 to 73% here in Melbourne, and that is a sign of a balanced market. Not a bull market, but certainly not one that's down in the dumps either. Up in Sydney, clearance rates are higher, and indeed, uh, the annual inflation rate for houses is well into double figures, which uh, probably says that the Sydney market is getting rather overexcited. Um, as I mentioned on the international front, there isn't anything to worry about yet, but it is the major source of risk at the moment if you're looking anywhere in the world to see where things might go wrong. So uh, keep an eye on all of that. Overall, however, for property investors, the news is good. As steady as she goes on the clearance rates, good news on local interest rates. Watch the New Zealand interest rates though, and the local inflation rate, because if they continue to trend up, well, the low interest rates we're currently getting could soon be a thing of the past. And remember, if you're thinking of selling or would just like an opinion of value, whether it be for your primary residence or an investment property, don't hesitate to contact your local Hodges office. Their assistance can only be of value to the whole process. Go to www.hodges.com.au. I'm Tom Elliott. Thanks very much for your company.